Hi, good morning everybody, it's Miss Ginger. And today we are gonna do a lesson on being thankful. But first, let's review our books of the Bible. Let's do the Old Testament first. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. All right, now let's do the New Testament. Let's sing the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts and the letters to the Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st and 2nd and 3rd John, Jude and Revelations. I hope everybody sang along with me and I wasn't singing solo on that because sometimes Miss Ginger's voice is not so great. Okay, we're going to sing a song about being thankful so you can hear my voice one more time. And then we're going to read a Bible story on it, okay? All right. Thank you, Lord, for loving me, and thank you, Lord, for blessing me. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole and saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Okay. Today, our lesson is from the book of Luke. Is Luke in the Old Testament? Or is Luke in the New Testament? The New Testament. It's the book of Luke. Luke is a gospel. And it's the gospels are the stories of Jesus' life. So this is from Luke 17, verses 11 through 19. Okay, I'm going to hold it where you can see the pictures, okay? All right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten men were very sick. They were so sick that the doctor couldn't make them any better. They were so sick that they couldn't stay at home with their mamas and daddies or boys and girls. They had to stay outside all by themselves. That's what we call these days quarantined. All of them wanted to be well again so that they could go home. One day, the 10 sick men saw a whole lot of people coming up the road. Look at all the people, somebody said. And look, isn't that Jesus? Oh, look, it is Jesus. He can help us. Jesus was far away. So the men yelled in big voices, Help us, Jesus. Jesus, please help us. Now Jesus knows everything, and he knew what they wanted right away. And he called back. Go to the men who work in God's temple and church and let them see if you are still sick. So he told all 10 of those men that they needed to go to the temple and the priest there would see if they were still sick. Well, I'm glad to tell you, the men did exactly what Jesus told them to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 sick men started down the road. Step, step, step. All at once, one of them said, Oh, my hands, they're all better. And another one looked at his arms and said, oh, My arms are all better. Somebody else shouted, Jesus made us well. Now we can all go home. And away they hurried. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine men. Just nine. One man didn't hurry home to see his family. That man wanted to say thank you first. So he ran back to Jesus. Thank God, the man shouted. I'm well. Thank you, he said to Jesus. Thank you so much. Jesus was very pleased. But he was sad, too. He said, didn't I make ten men well? Only one man came back to say thank you. So, he told the man that he could go home. What did we learn from the story today? We learned that Jesus was pleased when the man thanked him. Jesus is pleased when you tell him thank you too, and when I tell him thank you. So we need to always say thank you and Let's think about something that we could say that we're thankful to Jesus for now. Let's say a prayer as we close, okay? Thank you, dear God, for all of our blessings, for food on our tables, right now especially for our health, and we pray that you keep everyone that we love and care about healthy, and we thank you so much for everything that you do for us. Help us to have a good week this week and to be thankful and to remember to say that to our moms, to our dads, and especially to you. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys have a good week.